Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to ICT Profis lesson. Uh, today we will have, we will do some more exercises. But before starting that, I would like to show you something what we done last time. Uh, that was the, our algorithm that we done together. The simple calculation: three plus five equal eight. When we run this from here, as you see, it's over there. The that was the most important part. The you know difference between these two uh, one with the quarkation another without quarkation and uh, with quarkation it you know displays the same thing but without quarkation it just uh, solve the problem and then tells us the result there so now we will do another version of this uh, we will ask data from users they're gonna input the numbers and then we will calculate so we will do simple calculator okay let's get started so I will delete that one and then <coughs> uh, firstly ask from users enter numbers okay so if you want to if you want to make if you want to inform user you have to use one output that's what I did and again we're gonna make quotations and then write the uh, info for the users. What do we want? We want from them enter two numbers. Okay. And uh, so when we ask this question, the program is going to expect input from the users, and then after the the question, we will wait for the input. So this is the most important part in, in this exercise uh, there can be any number you know among these millions numbers so uh, we have to give a variable like X and Y or A and B or number one number two because this program will be used with thousands millions of users let's say and not everyone will use the same numbers they will use different numbers so for that reason we will call them X and Y let's do this X and remember we put semicolon to to make it like comma and X comma Y okay and after that after that I will show the result so I will do the same thing just like we done in the last exercise this time I'll do like this the total is okay and I put a semicolon you know semicolon stands for comma so if you're doing uh, if you're using two different things in one output you have to separate them with a comma okay but I use semicolon because the, the FC Pro understands semicolon as a comma okay and now I will do like that X plus Y okay does that make sense probably it does and now I will run it and I want to take your attention right here so it's ask it asks the X so it's asking the X input I will write there <coughs> 10 and now it asks another variable you see Y and then I'll write the 20 and enter and after that it will tell us the result total is 30 so that's simple it's not really hard to do but we have to follow the you know algorithm we need to approach the problem simple we will simplify the, you know the steps and then finally we will do it firstly we ask a user with output enter two numbers and then we expect from them to input the values and then finally we showed up the result there okay 
and we will do another exercise favorite color this time I will do enter your favorite color so I can change it little here enter your favorito color and the my variable will be not white black or purple it will be again X or color whatever you want but I call this X because we don't know users favorite color it might be any color there are millions colors so that's why we have to use a variable and and finally we will show up what is the user's favorite color I'll write there your favorite color is and now we will get the data from the input that's why we have to separate this I will use again semicolon and then and then write there X and you know X will be X will take the place of the user's input in the format of color and and then we will connect them so we will make the uh, program flow with these lines uh, I would like to clear this output panel and then run it again now it asks the <coughs> input enter your favorite color we also get information before we input and I will write there white so when I hit enter and it will tell me your favorite color is white wow amazing that's good thank you guys now you are expected to make uh, another exercise in the exercise you will input your name and surname and in the end the system will tell you your full name is uh, your name and surname okay see you in the next video thank you